What's going on, y'all? Back here with a new damn video. Let me just get the, out the way real quick. I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna make a video on this. I was gonna wait a couple weeks and see what actually transpires. But the more information I'm gathering here and there, because it's only been announced a little, just a little bit ago, is this. Okay, look. Now, first, let me get this out the way. Mike Wallace, I love the signing. Really good signing. I've been a Mike Wallace fan for a while. I thought he was, he was really good with the Steelers. He was one of the best receivers. And then with the Ravens, even last year. 700 and something yards, four touchdowns, which is touchdowns were down, but okay. The year before that, 1,000 yards and four touchdowns, and Evan at 14.5 yards a catch. So that's great. But uh, let's just get down to this. This is what I'm trying to say. So th this whole news just came out with Michael Bennett. Uh, and, you know, I, I was uh, taking a ride my bike and trying to get some exercise. I'm up on the board walking over the one, and uh, I got, got 97.5 on the Fanatic and – this happens, and I'm like, what the hell just happened? And I'm thinking, oh my god, you got to be kidding me! Every time something goes good, there's something has to happen. I thought that was, I thought that the curse was reversed. I thought everything was good. But the more I read about it, so they're saying he was in, um, he's charged, or let me see right here. Michael Bennett indicted on a felony charge in Texas. Now I'm just gonna break it down briefly. Of what the hell happened? Okay, they said that he was there at Super Bowl 51, which is this year was 52. Super Bowl 51, Patriots versus the Fal uh, Falcons. His brother won the Super Bowl, Martellus Bennett, and he tried to get on the field. They wouldn't let him on. Okay. Now they're saying he, the reason why he got charged, before I get to what I was going to say, is that he's, they said he, he hit a 66 year old paraplegic uh, woman security guard. And some people say she was in a wheelchair and this and that. Okay. Um, which is messed up. I heard that. I said that. That's just screwed up. But then they say there was a whole line of security. And he was trying to plow through because they wouldn't let him in. He ignored their demands to go to a different exit. He said, nah, F that, and just went through. And at the end of the you know line of security was, I guess, the lady there. And I guess she got hit while he was plowing through all of them. Okay? It's not like he literally singled her out. That's why I tell people, we're like, he hit her. I mean, he didn't literally single her out and just, bam. But I don't condone that anyway. I don't condone even going through security. Go around, dude, like they told you. Okay? But I'm gathering up information. And I'm reading certain stuff. And this makes absolutely no sense to me, okay? Like this right here. This is from the Houston uh, Police Department chief. Um, he said this. He said there, there's no – on you know what happened. There's no video evidence of it happening. But there have been police – there has been a police officer who was there to witness it. So this was two years ago. It's good. Well, a year ago, I consider it two because this Super Bowl just ended. So this was two years ago. You're telling me a police officer was there to witness it and didn't arrest him on site like that? That just doesn't make I'm not saying it didn't happen. That makes no sense. Plus, they're saying there's no video evidence. There's over hundreds and thousands of cameras at the Super Bowl, okay? I remember the year – that was a, the same – yeah, that was the same year Tom Brady's jersey got robbed. They had camera around the entire building. Do, 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 do. They showed it on Fox Sports, and they finally found the guy with his jersey. They literally went ding, 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 ding. There's cameras everywhere. It's the biggest media event slash sporting event. You're telling me you don't have one camera evidence of him hitting this girl. I'm not saying he's innocent because I still, you know, I don't. I, as I told you guys before, before we got him, I thought the guy was an asshole. Okay, and I, you know, he done some messed some stuff in the past, but. This right here just doesn't sound correct to me, okay? Everyone's just saying he hit the woman. But then how does the guy say, we have no video footage, but my officer was there to witness it? If your officer was there to witness it, if it was this big of a deal, like because they say in, uh, the penalty uh, down there in Houston, Texas, or whatever, um, is 10 years uh, for hitting um, an elderly person or whatever. Assault of an elderly if he, he was sitting there, the officer said he – one of them said he witnessed it. I witnessed it. Then why didn't you arrest him right there on site? You guys clearly didn't know he was Michael Bennett, an NFL player for Seattle Seahawks. You clearly didn't know that because if you did, you would have let him through. You would have let him right through the security, okay? So you guys clearly didn't know he was an NFL player. So you probably would have thought he was just a regular, you know, guy, and he would have got arrested. So why didn't he? And then how do you not have any camera video footage of this, Okay. I don't know. This whole incident's weird. The Eagles did make a statement. They did come out and say that we we know what happened. Let me see right here. This is what they said. We are aware of the situation involving Michael Bennett and are in 
the process of gathering more information. The Eagle said in the statement, because this is an ongoing legal matter, we will have no further comments at this time, which is the right thing to do. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I personally, this is the thing, okay? Eagles, they might cut him. I don't know, but he's gonna, he's definitely not going to jail. I know that. Because I just don't see it happen. You know, he might get suspended by the league or something like that, but I'm not saying he didn't do it because he does have some past of doing other stuff. So I'm not saying he whatever, but it just makes no sense to me, you know. And, you know, some people were saying that, you know, how he did that thing with Vegas. If you guys remember last year with Vegas where he said he got attacked and this and this and that happened. Somebody said, what if uh, they forgot all about him and uh, the lady or was some like, you know, cop loving whatever and that's some guy said so I was like oh she was probably a cop loving nut job and she finally saw his name across the screen as he got traded and she realized oh that's him and make a fake fake report I don't believe all that okay that that's just getting it too out of hand that's getting into all this, some other stuff but let me know how you guys feel below I still think he might he's gonna stay on the team I don't think he's going to jail okay I mean I, I don't think he's getting in trouble because I don't know there's no evidence and then you literally come out and say, we have no camera evidence when there's hundreds of thousands of cameras. And then you also say your cop officer was sitting right there. Then why didn't he get arrested on site? Hey, this is the only shit, only information we have right now. So I don't know what happened, what we're going to hear tomorrow. Hell, he can go to jail right now. Uh, anything can happen. So I'm, I, I just came here to make the video. Let me know if you guys feel below. I'm not saying he's innocent or guilty. I think it's a messed up situation. If it really did happen, I don't, I don't condone that at all, hitting elderly people. I don't. You know, and if it was an accident, even if it was, man, he screwed himself up. But I don't, there's no evidence. And they're coming out like that. Tell me how you guys feel below. I just think it's a crazy situation. Hopefully uh, nothing bad comes from it and he stays with the Eagles and we find out it was a bullshit report or something. Because, you know, it sucks, you know, to get, get this guy and for this to happen like that. Didn't even get to hit the field yet in the uniform. We'll see, though. Let me go, comment below. Let me guys, let me know how you guys feel below. Sorry about that. Go Birds.